All right, I'm joined here by former Minnesota Timberwolf uh, forward uh, Chris Johnson. Chris, uh, you played in the NBA last year, and, and, and you come from the NBA to the CBA. Everyone's kind of wondering how the transition is and what, what are the differences. Can you talk to me a little bit about what, uh, how your game has been forced to change or what have you done to adapt here in China? Um, nothing's really changed. Uh, I'm just playing more. Okay. I'm playing more than I have in the NBA, but uh, but the different comparisons between here and, and the NBA. Uh, I want to say the NBA game is a lot faster. Um, you know, is you kind of have to pick your poison in the NBA because you have, you know, as a four and a five, you have to go against guys like Al Horford or uh, Al Jefferson, and you know, is it's a lot tougher because <laughs> either if you you cut them off one way, then they have that counter moves and it's, it's a lot more difficult. It's more of a mind game uh, to how you want to, because you can't really stop guys. You just have to contest and <laughs> just and just pray for it. Yeah, pray for, the, for them to miss. But uh, but here, I, I feel it's the same way. You know, especially with guys like Randolph Morris. Uh, it's, it's a lot harder to stop certain guys like that. And uh, Ivan Johnson. He's definitely hard to stop because uh, with his size, strength, and and he's also fast, he can handle the ball, he can shoot the three, yeah, it's definitely difficult. So do you find that when you're matched up against these uh, CBA forward, the, these foreign four forwards like Ivan Johnson, like DJ White, um, do you Even find- Even Yee is, is a difficult guard as well, so he, uh, he, he's a lot athletic. Do you find that you're still keeping your game uh, NBA level when you're when you're guarding these, or when you have to match up against these guys? Do you, do you feel like uh, your game is still NBA ready? It's not kind of going, playing to the level of CBA but you're still playing at a high level. Oh no, it's, uh, it's not going down. Uh, it's you know, it's the same uh, fundamentals. Basically, you have to stay down. You have to read what guys like to do. You have to basically know your personnel. Uh, this is all about. I, a lot of NBA players that uh, that come here, they, they take on the coaching role, and, and the Chinese players kind of look up to you in in that sense because you spend some time in the league. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Um. I wouldn't say I'm <laughs> more of a coach, but uh, you know I just want to lead by example. Uh, either that's by going to hustle or offensive board or whatever the case may be, just just to show that you leave it all out there, no matter what the situation is, and I'll always be ready to play. And what what are uh, what's a couple of things that you missed back in America? What do you miss the most? Uh, you've been out here for. Uh, I would say I want to say food. Uh, I want to say Olive Garden. <laughs> I miss that. I miss that a lot. <laughs> and one of the biggest culture shocks since you've been here. What, what does that mean? Um, that. Maybe we'll, people using the bathroom in the street. <laughs> but other than that, no, nothing, nothing more of a culture shock. But uh, it, it's been fun here. To be honest, this is the most fun I had uh, internationally. So. Oh, cool. All right. Hey.